We love having more notebook options, so today we are looking at another one. This one is from Kumar Stationery and Crafts, who were kind enough to send me not one, not two, but four journals for us to look at. Let's open this one up and have a look. I obviously have my own preferences when it comes to notebooks and planners, but what I more so care about is, are these journals right for you? We're going to take an in-depth look at these ones so you can make informed decisions. Starting first by having a look at where you can get this one, if you head over to kumarstationaryandcrafts.com, that is where we have all of these notebooks. You can see that this collection comes in four different colours, with a combination of linen and faux leather covers. And if you wanted to make a purchase with them, then you can use my discount code JASHY10 for 10% off your order. The ones we've got in this video are part of their Lunar collection in particular. The journals are listed as being 160 pages with 160 GSM dot grid paper. They're A5 size and have gold hand stamped designs. As part of this, it also says that we don't have to worry about ghosting or bleeding, so we can create double sided spreads with a range of different pens, fine liners, water based markers, and even paint. Another bonus is that they have free tracked worldwide shipping if your order meets a specific spending threshold. As the team over at Kumar Stationery and Crafts have sent me four notebooks, I assume that I have one of each design here, but we'll have a look at each of them individually. You can see that each of them come in this lovely box that has Kumar Luna Collection on the front. They also came wrapped in a thin plastic, which means they're going to be protected from things like water damage during their transit. If we take the lid off though and have a look at what we've got in this one, this one has a very pretty pale blue linen cover with... Oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? This one has a cute little red panda sleeping on a moon inside of a glass bottle. As each of the journals are listed as having the same features on the website, we're just going to have a look at this one in full and then have a look at the cover designs of our other options. In terms of dimensions, this one is 14.4 centimeters wide by approximately 20.8 centimeters tall and roughly 2.2 to 2.3 centimeters deep. Along with the stamped design on the front, we also have a design on the spine of the notebook, being a cute little moon with some stars. And the moon and stars are also found on the gilded edges of the notebook, which is super pretty. The pages do sit away from the edge of the cover, meaning they're going to be fairly well protected from anything your journal butts up against. On the back, we also have the embossed typed logo of Kumar Stationery and Crafts. If we take off our paper cover here, so you can really see our cover, very pretty blue. By the looks of things, we don't have a pen loop, but we do have the elastic closure. And that elastic has a good amount of stretch, isn't too stretchy, isn't too rigid. We open up to the back of our notebook, just to have a look at, yep, we have a gusseted pocket here. And we also have some bonuses. Oh, that's exciting. So we've got their business card, and we've also got a little bookmark, which we'll look at later. So the gusseted pocket in the back is certainly present. If we measure up the dimensions of that one, it's approximately 12.9 centimeters wide and 19.8 centimeters tall. We do have some bookmarks. We've got two of those and they're in a pale yellow color and they're certainly long enough to actually be used as bookmarks. If we open up the notebook again to check, does it lay flat? Yep, with a small amount of page training, it certainly does. So nice and easy to write at the spine of this notebook. Having a look at the cute little bonus that came with this one. So we have a little metal bookmark. If we open up the notebook again so you can see how it works. This one would just slide onto your page either at the top or I guess you could use on the side. And the nice part is it has this little flag at the top so you can mark your pages with it as well, which is pretty sweet. It has one edge that has a pattern or design on it, which is kind of like a little scalloped edge. And on the other side, it has a little ruler which has markings on the millimeter for up to 2.9 centimeters. In the middle, there are also some little stars that you could use as a stencil. And at the top, we have our little sleepy red panda again. Looking now at our layout features, the only specialty page we have is the nameplate page. So we've got the Kuma Luna Collection handcrafted journal logo here, and then a space to write down your name. This journal belongs to. You could also put in your email address or whatever. So there's two lines for you to write what you want to. Flipping over from this though, we have our first dock grid page, which as in most notebooks is glued to that front cover. So a small amount of glue here, but all the dots do seem to be usable if you either very gently pry them apart or just fold it down. For this one, we're just going to give it a little tug so that then that crease can be nice and straight and give it a little fold. 
still lies flat. As mentioned, we have 160 pages in this one, and in terms of dot darkness, they're noticeable, but I wouldn't call them dark. I personally find them easy to see, but they are fairly small. If we compare it to the dots of Archer and Olive Paper, they are essentially the same, if not exactly the same. For our dot dimensions, moving across we have 13 centimeters, or 26 spaces, or 27 dots, and going down the page we have 19, so 38 spaces, or 39 dots, so the same dimensions as a lot of A5 journals. We don't have any specialty features on the pages, so no page numbers, we don't have any like divider dots or anything like that, just a nice simple dot grid journal. In terms of the color of the paper, it is bright white, so I wouldn't call it cream or ivory, definitely a white, and I wouldn't say that it has any kind of gray tinge to it either. If we compare it to the color of Archer and Olive paper, I would say that it is essentially the same. Turning to the back though for our pen testing, as per usual we're going to be testing with a bunch of different pens, and any of the ones that are typically used for colouring in, we're going to do multiple passes of those pens, so moving from left to right with one, two, three, and four passes over. For our Zig Clean Colour Dot Marker, we're going to apply some varying pressure, so going from lightest pressure on the left to heaviest pressure on the right. And as we like to, we're going to be testing some alcohol-based markers like the Sharpie and the Paint Liner even though we can be pretty safely certain that that one's going to bleed. We'll also test with a regular biro, or a common ballpoint pen, and also an HB pencil just for completeness. If you like the looks of any of these pens, they are all linked in the description box below, along with links to any of the other materials featured in this video. For the smear test we're doing at the bottom, we're testing this both with the Papermate Inkjoy pen and the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. So essentially putting ink down on the page and then passing over with my finger, and waiting 1 second, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and 20 seconds. Having a look first at the smear test, as you can see the 1 second and 5 second options smeared for the dot marker. The smearing on the 5 second for the ink joy is, I wouldn't even say noticeable, so I probably wouldn't even call that a smear. But the 10 second and 20 second option in both cases didn't have any smearing. I would say that this paper is not coated, it certainly doesn't feel like it is, and thus the ink sinks into the page quite quickly. If we flip back this way, we can see that there is indeed no shadow through, we can't see any of the writing on the page that we put the pen test on, and if we flip back, that's where we get to ghosting and bleeding. So as can be expected, our Sharpie and our paint liner indeed did bleed through. We also have a small amount of ghosting on the Karen marker, but only when we went over multiple times or the end of the strokes in terms of the lettering. This makes sense because it is quite an inky pen. We also possibly have a small amount of ghosting from the Uniball Air Micro, and this pen also feathered on the page. As promised, we do have the other cover designs to look at though, so going through one by one. Our first one, if we take off the cover, this one is a very pretty black faux leather notebook with a little crescent moon and some kind of wispy clouds. The printing is done in gold and we again have that little emblem on the spine. The gilding on this is just gold, we don't have any extra decoration on that one. And we have the Kumar Stationery and Crafts typed logo embossed on the back. This one also has two bookmarks in that yellow colour. The next one is a dark blue linen cover. This one has an hourglass on the front and again has that decoration on the spine. Yellow bookmarks and gold gilded edges. Very pretty. And the fourth one is a lilac or light purple colour. This one's vegan leather again or faux leather with a very smooth finish. This one has a cute astronaut red panda on the front holding a star. We still have that spine design. We've got the two bookmarks and we've got gold gilded edges with those pretty decorations again. So that brings us to the question, who are these notebooks right for? If you're looking for a notebook with very cute cover designs, you love gilded edges, you don't necessarily need a pen loop, but you do want an elastic closure, then these notebooks might be right for you. If you love the idea of little extra bonus items, you don't need page numbers, but you do want high quality thick paper, then these notebooks might be for you. If you don't need the dots to be super dark, and you don't need any specialty pages outside of the nameplate page, and you only need two bookmarks, then these journals might be right for you. 
As mentioned, if you wanted to get any of these notebooks, you can head over to the Kuma Stationery and Crafts website, which is linked in the description box. And if you want to get 10% off your order, you can use my code JASHY10. Another awesome notebook option, which might be right for you. But if you are still on the hunt for something in particular, be sure to check out my playlist that we have here for my other journal review videos. As always, team, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye!